can see where that float is bobbing around. It would turn the pump on and off. You end up burning the motor up in the pump. You can't have that. So this system picks the water up from the pit, pumps it in through this paper thing, and it falls through the paper into that tub. And in the tub, there's a float. You see the yellow wires there. The problem is, is the water gets slapping around, <clears throat> and the float turns the pump on and off. Click, 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 click. So here's what we did. That float supplies power. To this section after this relay uh, switched power to here right so what we did the power came from here and it went to the overload relay and then from the overload relay it went up to a1 and it turns this switch on and off so what we did was we bypassed that and we came in and we're feeding this timer at the same time, we're feeding the uh, hot leg of the switch, or the lion leg of the switch. Uh, when the timer times out for 10 seconds, which means that float down there has been in the up position or power on position for 10 seconds, only when it's been on for 10 full seconds, this will close the circuit between 15 and 18, and then that power has been routed back up to A1. So this is gonna time delay this switch now. Uh, this is the uh, this is the neutral going to the neutral bar. So there you go. Uh, adjustable time delay relay from 0.1 seconds to 10 hours, and then uh, whatever you set it for, right here you you make your adjustment. Time delay relay, uh, relay switch, thermally protected, and. There you go. That's how you time delay a circuit.